This film supplements the e-learning lesson on the formulation and production of alcohol-based solutions. It refers to the procedure followed by the Geneva University Hospitals, a WHO collaborating centre for the preparation and quality control of WHO alcohol-based solutions. It is generally recommended to analyse the first and last bottles filled and one or two bottles from the middle of the batch produced. The determination procedure is available from the FarmEd platform at the following URL www.farm-ed.net. H2O2 is determined by using an oxidation reduction reaction with potassium iodide in acidic conditions. The iodine that is released is determined by titration with a 0.1 N sodium theosulfate solution. This test is recommended for facilities that have qualified, trained personnel and the necessary equipment for obtaining reliable results. Weigh out 5 grams of ammonium molybdate in a 50 milliliter beaker. Add 30 milliliters of distilled water. Dissolve the mixture on the stirrer plate while heating gently, then leave to cool. Add a few drops of dilute ammonia R2 to adjust the pH of the solution to 7. Check it using pH paper. Next, transfer the solution to a 50 ml volumetric flask and adjust to the volume mark with distilled water. Close the flask and then shake to mix the solution. It's important to label the flask with the name of the solution and the preparation date before moving on to prepare the next solution. Weigh out 20 grams of potassium iodide into a 100 milliliter volumetric flask. Rinse the funnel with distilled water to ensure that all the powder has gone down into the flask, then fill it to around two-thirds volume. Close the flask and shake to dissolve the powder properly. Then add distilled water to make it up to the 100 milliliter mark. Label the flask with the name of the solution and the preparation date. The two reagent preparations can be stored for up to a month. Audio. 
Before preparing the solutions for analysis, assemble the burette. Check that the stopcock is properly closed. Fill the burette with 0.1N sodium theosulfate solution and adjust the volume by emptying the excess into a small container. To prepare the sample for analysis, add the following quantities of substances and reagents to a 100 milliliter beaker. 20 milliliters of alcohol-based solution for analysis. Ten milliliters of one N sulfuric acid solution. 0.25 milliliters of ammonium molybdate R2 solution. Five milliliters of potassium iodide twenty per cent solution. Add the magnetic stirrer so that mixing of the solution continues throughout titration. Slowly titrate the mixture with the 0.1 N sodium theosulfate solution until the mixture changes from yellow to colorless. When titration is complete, note down from the burette the number of milliliters needed for the reaction. Write the result in the logbook kept in the laboratory to ensure traceability. Repeat steps two and three in order to take three measurements for each sample to be tested. Record the results for each measurement in the logbook. Therefore, a total of 12 measurements will be taken, if four samples are tested for one batch of alcohol-based solution. The hydrogen peroxide concentration of the sample is calculated using the average of the three measurements. Record the results in the logbook that's kept in the laboratory. They must also be included in the analysis report that will be attached to the production sheet. For the solution to be compliant, it must adhere to the hydrogen peroxide values shown on the screen. Once the quality control manager has validated the results, they're sent to the production manager. The production manager may authorize the batch to be released and placed in storage at least 72 hours after production if the solution meets the requirements, the production and analysis reports have been completed and signed by the managers. To find out more, 
go to the website shown on screen.